have an epic. And this is my memory verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1 Lesson 1. God made all things. First, God made the heavens and the earth. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1 1, 1. Then God began to make things beautiful here on earth. He made the hills and the mountains. He made the oceans, the lakes and the rivers. God made beautiful trees and flowers. God made birds of every kind. God made all the fish in the sea from the starfish to the whale. Why did God make all these things? God made them because he planned to make a home for someone special. You know who it was? It was for the first people. God called the first man Adam. God made a wife for Adam. Her name was Eve. God made them different from the animals. God made them in such a way that he could live in their hearts. Why did God make people? God made people to love him and to be loved by him. God loves you. God made you, and you are very special to him. He knows your name. He knows what you look like. He knows all about you. In the Bible, God says that he has always loved you. Remember, God loves you, and he wants you to love him. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Eliakim Steve, and I am 11 years old. And today I will be telling you a story and a verse. It says in the Bible at Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So, do any of you remember the time when Adam and Eve disobeyed God by eating the fruit from the tree of the good and evil well i will tell you a story about god's beautiful garden i will tell you a story about a garden that had no weed and no thorns it was the most beautiful garden in all the world god himself has planted this garden god put adam and eve in this garden god told them that they could eat the fruit from every tree except from the special tree the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God told them that if they disobeyed him and ate the fruit of that tree, they would die. Adam and Eve were so happy in this beautiful garden. They had everything they needed. They were never sick or sad, and they were never bad. In the evening, God came down and talked with them. This was the best thing of all. God was pleased with this beautiful world, but now many things are not beautiful anymore. There is sin and death in the world, and people do bad things. But where did sin come from? The Bible tells us how it happened. God has a great enemy, Satan. Satan hates God. He will not obey God. Satan wants everybody to hate and disobey God. Satan came to Eve as a serpent and said to her, You will not die if you eat that special fruit. Instead, you will be like God. This was a lie. But Eve believed Satan and took the fruit of the special tree and ate it. Then she gave some of that fruit to Adam and he ate it also. Adam and Eve disobeyed. Instead of having God in their hearts, now, they now had sin in their hearts. In, and instead of being like God, they became sinners. God was very sad. And when God came down to, to walk and talk with Adam and Eve, they hid from him. They were afraid of God. It's because they knew they had done something wrong. Because Adam and Eve sinned, they had to leave the beautiful garden which God had planted for them. They could no longer live with God. Ever since that time, every person was born with sin in his or her heart. This is why we do wrong things. We all have done wrong things. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short 
of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But did God stop loving Adam and Eve because they disobeyed him? No, God still loved Adam and Eve, and he promised them that one day he would send a savior into the world into the world. God sent the Lord Jesus to be our savior, and someday everything will be beautiful and wonderful again. Hi, my name is John Jaffin, and I am nine years old. God our Heavenly Father looked down from heaven and saw that people were sinning by doing wrong things. But God loved all the people so much that he wanted to to save them from the punishment that would come if they died with sinful hearts. How could people understand God? There was only one way. God had to become a human being, a person just, just like us. And God loved every person so much that he let his son, the Lord Jesus, become a person like us so that he could be our savior. Jesus is the son of God and he lives in heaven with the Father and the Ho- and with the Holy Spirit. As Jesus grew up, he never he never sinned. He never he never disobeyed his parents or did anything wrong because he was the son of God. He came into this world to die for our sins so we could be forgiven of of all our sins and could be saved by believing in him. The Bible says in John 3 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shouldn't perish but have everlasting life. <clears throat> if we believe in Jesus, we will have life that lasts forever in heaven. Jesus is the best gi- gift we could ever have. My name is Ivan Joshua M. Morales. I am nine years old. This is my memory verse. Christ died for our sins. All of us have sin in our hearts. God made the first man and woman, Adam and his wife, Eve, perfect and good like himself. But Adam and Eve chose to disobey. And sin came into their hearts. The Bible says that we are born with sin in our heart. That is why we say and do wrong things. But I know someone who can forgive our sins. It is the Son of God, the Lord Jesus. He came into this world to be our Savior. The Lord Jesus took the punishment for our sin when He died on the cross. When you take Him as your Savior, He forgives you all of your sins and makes you a child of God. How do we take Jesus as our Savior? First, we have to be sorry that we have sinned and also believe that Jesus died for our sin. Then, you ask Him to, to come into your heart to be your very own Savior. I am sorry for my sin and I do believe that Jesus died for me. I want him to come into my heart when can we ask Jesus to come into our heart we can ask Jesus to come into our heart right now just bow your head and tell the Lord Jesus that you want him to come into your heart Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I have done wrong things. I am sorry for my sin and I want to stop doing them. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Please come 
into my heart right now. Now and be my savior. Christ died for our sins. First Corinthians 15 verse 3. My name is Mia Mabel and Morales. I am seven year old. And this is my memory verse. I am not too little. The Lord Jesus also knows about the sin in our hearts. He died on the cross for us so that we could be saved from our sins. But some people say that I cannot take Jesus as my savior until I am nine or 10 years old. Some people even think that I have to be much older than than that before I can be saved. But God tells us in the Bible that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10 verse 13 Whosoever means anyone who wants to even little children I am so glad that I am not too little. Boys and girls, you do not need to wait any longer. The Lord Jesus loves you and he will save you if you ask him. Why not ask him to save you right now? Just pray to him like this, dear Lord Jesus. I know that I have sinned and I am truly sorry for my sins. I thank you for loving me so much for dying on the cross for my sins. Please come into my heart and be my savior. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and forbid them not. Mark 10 verse 14 Hello, my name is Angel and I'm 11 years old. God gave you a new kind of life. The Bible calls it everlasting life and we receive it at the moment when we take the Lord Jesus as our Savior. The Bible says in Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The reason God can give us everlasting life is because His Son, the Lord Jesus, died for our sins. He was buried, he was buried but on the third day, He rose again. That was the first Easter. The important thing about Easter is not about the parties or the new clothes or the Easter eggs. We celebrate Easter because Jesus rose from the dead he gave he has eternal everlasting life and give us everlasting life when we believe in him how do we know when we when, how do you know how do we know for sure that we have that we have everlasting life we know for sure because god says so in the bible believes on the son has everlasting life john 3 36 Everything God says in the Bible is true. He would never tell us a lie. What does it mean that we have everlasting life? Does it mean that we are near going to that we are never going to die? No, it does not mean that. Our body is like a house we live in. When we die, our body goes to a grave, but our soul goes to heaven. To be with the Lord Jesus, the Bible tells us that one day God will raise our body from the dead and will give us a new body, one that will never die. God has a, God has a wonderful book in heaven. It is called the Lamb's Book of Life. Jesus is the Lamb of God, so it is his book. When you, when you take the Lord Jesus as your Savior, the, he writes your name in, this, in his book. All people who have na their names written in the Lamb's Book of Life 
will live with, will live with God in heaven forever and ever. I am glad that I have everlasting life. This is the best gift. This is the best gift of all. Now I know every la that everlasting life is better than a new dress at Easter and day. Boys and girls, do you know that you have everlasting life? Are you sure that your name is written on the Lamb's Book of Life? If you are not sure, tell the Lord Jesus that you love Him, that you are sorry for your sins, that the wrong things you have done, and that you believe that He died for your sins and rose again to be your Savior. Ask the Lord Jesus to come into your heart to be your Savior. Remember, Jesus wants to be your Savior. He loves you more than you can ever know. He is waiting for you to ask Him to come into your heart. In my Father's house are many, are many mansions. I go to, I prepare, go to prepare a place, a place for you. John 14, John 14 verse 2. As God's God, 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 God. That will happen when you die. When we die, our body will be buried. But our body is just a house we live in. Our soul will go to heaven and be with the Lord Jesus. I have always wondered what heaven is like. Heaven is God's home. The Bible tells us that heaven is more beautiful than we can ever imagine. Perhaps the best way to explain heaven to you is to tell you about some things that will not be in heaven and some that will be there. Heaven is so bright from God's glory that it will be the be light and the time and never dark. That means we will not need the sun or the moon. There will be no medicine in heaven because no one will be ever sick. There will be no tombstones because no one will ever die. No one will ever do anything wrong. That means there will be no sin, no hate. And no fighting in heaven. There will be many angels more than, than more than we can count. There will be a beautiful street of gold, a sparkling river of pure, and a clean water of trees on each side of the river. The Bible, God's word, God's word will be there. All the people who have trusted the Lord Jesus as the Savior will be there. There will all that have love in their hearts. In the heart, and they will, and they will live in, in homes and beautiful and beautiful than anything we can ever imagine. That is why I call heaven God's beautiful home. The most wonderful thing of all is that Jesus will be there. He loved us so much that he left heaven many years ago and came to earth. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and so that we could be forgiven and live in heaven with him forever and ever. Jesus called heaven my father's house. Jesus says in the Bible, In my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. That is at John chapter 14 verse Say, I is wonderful. 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 Say, I is wonderful.